All right. Hey, everyone. So unfortunately, uh, audio on this recording is broken, so we will be providing our own. Anyways, uh, so this is Grand... F <laughs> That's a round start. Uh, this is... Go back to that. I want to see if I can get an idea of what that, like, attempt at interacting even was. Nope, they just both jumped. <laughs> <laughs> but all right. So yeah, here is Grand Finals between Crady and Chari. Uh, definitely two people who really showed up in bracket this week. So, I think I mentioned it a little bit earlier. Oh. Chari is going to be focusing mostly on uh, Oki. And yeah, I don't know, VLC is having some weirdness. I might have to pause and... I was just talking about the drop on Bandabringer. Okay. Good air to air. Yeah, crady has been like cleaning up his consistency with just combos into dust loop and knockdown and like just the correct enders pretty well lately. Oh yeah, uh, also, Crady, you're an idiot. That's for the parking lot earlier. I told you. <laughs> you said it on me. Good air throw too. Yeah, and good OTG kill. Uh, the main thing you can do on Soul, I think, for OTG kills is like 2k 2d. But the like the pat the the mash worked, so I ain't gonna judge it. Uh, also, it is important to note, just like from a spectator point of view, Chari won this match in Winners Finals. That's why he's over in Winners side. Uh, Crady definitely brings it back strong here, though. And Chari goes for different Oki setups, but I don't think he. So he started going for these setups like that day of the tournament here. So unfortunately, I don't think he has the timing or the ways to be safe from DP on wake up down reliably yet. So I think Kraid is going to be able to get away with a bunch of extra DPs currently. Which, you know, one of those things where if you see that they aren't punishing you for it. Ooh, in that situation, uh, a soul, you really just want to uh, wire see if you like riot stamp and they do something that you can really see. And to be fair, with where he fell, he almost just didn't take chip from that super. Yeah, uh, I feel like if you're going to riot stamp, you got to be really ready to just like cancel out of it. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. Soul far slash on round start is just so good. Like, Ram's far slash with the sword equipped is incredible. It like carries her neutral on its own. But... Yeah, it's huge for a 7 frame button, but Soul's is... Er, Nine. Hers is huge for a 9 frame button. Yeah. Souls is huge for an 7 frame button. Man, that's crazy. Yeah, also, uh, by way of Soul Ooh. having a very good Ooh, meterless burst. DP. That was, that was a pretty wise burst. Uh, I think maybe a little low on health for it to be a great call, but... Bursting uh, things like counter hit Bandit Ringer are reasonable. <laughs> okay, so if Chari had gotten the full confirm there, because that's what he is working on now, uh, like we said in the earlier set, definitely a good focus point for the week. Uh, that would have been, like, crazy to be at one touch right now. And in a mix-up situation. <laughs> good jump to avoid the Fafnir. And yeah, because it wasn't counter-hit, he couldn't quite pick up off that. That was that, a good right? jump dust to cover the, uh... To cover the air throw. Mm -hmm. And yeah, you need counter-hit. You need counter-hit to pick up on that. Anywhere. Ooh. Okay. There's probably some big punish he could have gotten there. Uh, no harm in not knowing that yet, but... <laughs> Alright, Jari knows what he wants to do this round. <laughs> Yeah, I think jump kick is a it's a it's an awkward choice of soul for uh, air to grounding outside of cross up because it just hits so like level. It's really flat. Mm hmm. It's very good as an air to air, Ooh. and the cross up obviously oh. is great. Okay. Okay. So that. Well. I can't blame him too much for going for it, but still probably a good idea to just cancel back out of it. It worked, but... Yeah, 
Yeah, space control with those swords is, like, if you get to either set them up or get your attack mm. out for, like, 2S and stuff. Oh, that was, uh, uh, other than dropping it at the end, that was a really good confirm off counter hit, uh, 6H. And did the correct mid-screen uh, choice from the... And good to see that Crady has, uh, at least as of this weekend, gotten the uh, air throw bug. Yeah, missed the reset uh, on crowd, on stun, but that was smart to at least go for it. Just gotta hit that uh, jump kick a little early, or the 2k a little early. No, he got it. It just got bursted. No, no, you can't burst the OTG reset. Uh, what I, he he got a 2k starter. What he mm -hmm. was going for is he was trying to OTG the 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 falling so that Ram would immediately stand up and he'd get the stun reset. Uh, okay, okay. Gotcha. Good zoning. Oh, I guess not really zoning, but uh, like defensive play and option limiting there from Chari. Just hanging back in the oh, corner, throwing swords. Bold decision, but it worked. I think just slightly. That was either that just off count. on the was safe the, wait, jump, go back or he forgot hit? to hold back. Oops. Okay, yeah. Yeah, in no, that situation, that was... just hold down back. Uh, he hadn't landed yet. Uh, that, that hit out of the air. Oh, then he... I think the whole thing was mistimed then, because he didn't yeah. get counter hit, so it wasn't active. Oh, wow, yeah, you're right. That's why I thought he might have landed. Good throw. Good landing on the Fafnir. Dust loop. Mm -hmm. Yep, take the ender. Uh, okay, that was a good jump. I definitely had a read on run up throw as well. Just, I guess, don't forget to FD when you fuzz yeah, the jump. Yeah, uh, a thing that I need to get. Uh, uh, pause and rego it. Yeah. A thing I need to get used to doing that would also be smart for you, Crady, is uh, if you have the meter to do it and you're wanting to go for a wild throw, just input a Roman cancel uh, after the wild throw so that you'll PRC uh, if you whiff and you'll get the wild throw otherwise. Good stuff there, by the way, Chari. Uh, he saw that Soul had been going for DP quite a bit there, and so Chari ran up, did like a little motion to make it look like he was doing an attack, and then just blocked. Uh, don't forget to OS your throws with 6p too, Chari, because I think that might have tagged him there. Yeah, it's a slow option, but it's what you got. Yep, good block there. But yeah, force the burst out, that's fine. <coughs> yeah, I think you need, for non-counter hit, I think you need... Good stagger. I think you need a third pillar gunflame. Oh, that was a good 6p. Dust was probably not the right choice <laughs> to press on Chari's end, but the 6p itself was still good. Uh, try not to give up after Ooh. a... After a... Uh, Hopefully Chari saves his burst here if he gets hit again. Yeah. Uh, no. Oh, wait, sorry, I thought yeah. the... Okay, so I looked up, saw the C, and went, that's Chari. And didn't read the name. <laughs> Um, the, what was I saying? Do you want me to rewind it to remind you? I don't remember it at all, so. Oh, after Fafnir. Okay, wait, pause it for a sec, because this is kind of unrelated. Uh, Prady, you gave up your, you kind of gave up your turn after an FD to Fafnir, like you just went to down back. Uh, Fafnir, unless just blocked, is a kind of advantageous reset position. So unless you're like expecting a, uh, like that's like you're plus four on block if they FD, and you're kind of far away. So like on on like regular block, uh, like six P or slash are good choices. On FD, you're probably going to be more restricted to like pressing far slash or something like that. But uh, generally, you if generally you want to like until you're confident that they're going to try to reversal or blitz or something to disrespect your continued pressure, you want to keep going off of a blocked Fafnir. Yep, Fafnir is your reward for making them respect the gap leading into Fafnir because it gets you back up close for pressure. That is basically how you should think of it. How you convert off of that reward is up to you and it becomes its own little game where you're plus, but if you can get them to block Fafnir, you have earned a pressure reset.
roughly. Yeah. Yep. Good jump out. I'm gonna presume that was a throw attempt or a DP attempt. I oh, would assume H. so. Okay, so good call out on the DP, just don't forget to faultless. Good safe jump timing. DP's so fun when you have the meter to not care. Good throw. So again, it's like, it's kind of crazy, because like, I showed Chari the safe jump timing that day, and he's been getting it consistently. Ooh. Yeah, Fafnir, Fafnir's got really fast recovery. It's like level 3, but plus 2, so that's yep. really fast. Good bait on the DP there. There we go. Sorry. VLC, please? There we go. So every once in a while it gets choppy, unless I do that, and I have no idea why. It doesn't normally. Yeah, you're doing really well at Ooh, your... Ooh, uh, good your choice to RC. There, oh, did not run quite deep enough. You can go real deep on a Red Roman cancel. <laughs> <laughs> oh my oh, god. Oh, here we go. Yeah, uh, yeah just, just just FD. Yeah, just especially if you're against someone who has a DP, just FD. Well, and if you're soul, just DP and then hold FD and then RC it if they block. Uh, don't try not to mash the DP because uh, you really waste that mortal counter if you uh, if you don't. And if they did try to disrespect Ooh. you on mortal counter or on a uh, danger time starting. That was definitely a misinput. Nice I remember talking with Chari afterwards about what that was. I don't remember what it was, but it definitely was not supposed to be IK. Ooh, good pickup. Sure. Yeah, uh, kind of like what I was telling Diamond Mew, be very careful about air dashing into the corner. Uh, I'm reasonably certain that that was not on purpose though, so, you know, that's fine. That's just one of those watch out for it in the future type deals. Alright, yeah, good attempt at an anti-air. And yeah, here is a very good example of if you had the corner combo down, uh, that you would have just won right there without having to play an extra round of neutral. But again, that's what you're working on this week, so that's fine. Just make sure you can get it consistent. Okay, so yeah, you have to delay that a bit longer if they're in the air or if it's counter hit, but it's like such a Boom. big hit that you have time to react. Oh, reset oh, with that? Uh, that was a lot of damage. Oh, I, uh, I think jump kick was the right choice. Jump slash, jump slash is surprisingly slow. Oh, I, bait. <laughs> I think that was a bait, but he uh, thought the burst wasn't coming at the last second. Yep. Good delayed burst, but honestly, if you're going to burst, I would have done it on that first counter hit 6H. Uh, yeah, the uh, delayed meaty counter hit 6H was a good choice. That super was sadly not. Yep, doesn't hit low enough. Yeah, if you get counter hit 6 h by Soul and you see Fafnir start especially, burst. Yeah. Or, uh, not Fafnir, uh... Maybe Bandit Ringer first after 6H. Okay. If you get hit by counter hit 6H, uh, your burst, unless you think they're so like confident that they're going to riot stamp to bait it. <laughs> yeah, definitely remember any time that you go into danger time, you can clash cancel into any action, and FD counts as an action. Ooh, okay. Also, I am... Good very... Bandit Ringer over it, the Fafnir... Oh yeah, that's, that is the classic reset. And by classic, I mean I do it to little people a lot. <laughs> yeah, good weight on the... You got the overhead in uh, Danger Time, and I would not have had the presence of mind to be like, I need to delay this to, you know, get the pickup. And you did. And then he bursted. But hey, had the presence of mind in the first place. Nice jump dust. Stuff the jump. Alright, Crady, your turn to watch it. Oh my god. 
Gunflame went away. <laughs> but yeah, your turn to watch out for uh, cornering yourself, especially against a character like Ram. Ooh, unfortunate drop. <laughs> Spend 50 meter, just get out of there. Yeah, Chari was forced to go in there because of time. 6P is alright. <laughs> yep. 6P, 6P is a very good button. It's very good reward. Thank you, VLC. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Good pick up there. I had no idea who was going to win that interaction. <laughs> right, we'll see. Please. Cooperate. Run under Riot Stamp. Yep, definitely remember any time you jump to Faultless on the way up. That was a really good choice to just do one dust in the Bandit Revolver because that was a really awkward uh, corner conversion. That was 100% of DP. That was DPRC. Yeah. I, he RC'd immediately. <laughs> yep. You ought to be really careful when you try to go for uh, like IAD cross-up shenanigans to make people drop reversals. People do it to me as Johnny and also, they just end up uh, getting coined. On this right here, the, the air dash was the correct option for the punish, but Gunflame hits a lot higher than it looks, so you'd have to have done it uh, like right around Soul's head height instead of his chest height. So correct idea, just didn't have all the knowledge you needed to for it. Good consistency on these uh, dust loops. Good air to air to catch the jump. Oh, attempted the tick throw. So, Chari, uh, as this is going on, as he's showing stronger and stronger Oki, uh, I think you're opting to jump out quite a bit, and he's, like, he hasn't really been getting throws on you, but he's been able to get a bunch of other stuff while he's catching your jump and that's just turned back into more Oki for him. So be mindful of what your escape option was. Like, try uh, and keep in your head what the last two things you did to escape were. I also actually feel like oh jump... Oh my god, that pickup. I also feel like jump is actually a really weak option to try to escape. Uh, specifically throws from, like, a wake-up position... Because if you like, if you're like jumping because they just stood there and then did a late dash and you don't think you can stuff it, that's fine. But like, you're throw invincible for nine frames. You can just press a button if you th if you're really calling a throw on wake up. True. Uh, also, don't forget that if you get that two KK blocked, uh, if you want, you can spend fifty meter and be safe and get another mix up. <laughs> yep, yeah, good call. Uh, Hold burst I decision. assume... Oh, okay, okay. It worked out, but that definitely should have been a wall splat confirm. Yeah, most of the time, if you do something to be safe against DP, you are also safe against burst. It depends. Burst is so slow that it can mess up your timing. True. You can already be in the middle of the button after the safe jump because you're like, well, I didn't block. <laughs> But yeah, broadly speaking, if you're just like leaving to get out of it, yeah, you'll you'll be fine. Yeah, definitely. Oh, uh, is that sorry, a burst bait? <laughs> focus on air FD because there have been quite a few times in here where you have like correctly blocked something, you've just forgot to FD in the air, and so you've gotten hit back into knockdown, and that's rough. Hit. Yeah, yeah just not quite close H. enough. The run up, the run up confirm is a little hard if you don't know the IAD stuff. Yep. Uh. Yeah. yeah. We'll figure out that technical difficulty another time if we do more of these because we have yeah. no idea.
Ooh. Air far slash. Ah, uh, just not quite far enough. so strange that 3k doesn't give knockdown from ram. Watch it with that. Yeah, so definitely the things that I'm seeing for you, Chari, are uh, the corner combo, air FD, and pressure that is more than just uh, the 2kk. Because that, while it gives you a good reward, uh, you don't really have much mix-up off of it, because it's just three lows in a row. Which, like, that is generally fine, but they have no reason to get hit if you're just doing lows, even if you stagger them. Uh, especially since you can't stagger between hits two and three, since that is just a single two-hit move. Uh, here, I will be right back. I need to take the cat out of the room, so you take over and tell Grady. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, let's see. Uh, Grady? You, I think you sometimes think 6P is worse than it is, because I think your brain, uh, like, really focuses on the times that it didn't work. And honestly, I focused on the times that it did work in that set, because it, it, it got you what you wanted a few times. You even almost confirmed off of, like, a mid-screen counter hit 6P with the right uh, run-up uh, confirm. In general, um, soul, soul, so let's see. There, there were a few confirms that you dropped uh, that had like dash components, um, and in general, because I think you should work on your like dash control, uh, because not just for the importance of those confirms, but Soul gets a lot of rewards for being able to dash really effectively and use it to control your space. Your dash is so unbelievably good; it's 100% acceleration. It is instantaneous top speed you can just like micro dash on people so effectively with your like plus buttons yep it also got buffed even more in the 2.1 no that, that that's what i was talking about with the 100 okay. acceleration yeah they they it used to just be really high and they made it maximum <laughs> leave this on in the background so that there's yeah that's fine some sort uh of video. i i definitely do this too when i'm playing soul you also autopilot gun flame a lot like you would press like right there 2s gun flame uh, that's not great, because yeah, you can just... 2D Gunflame makes the 2D more safe. 2S Gunflame takes your turn and gives it up. Yeah, because you're, you're plus three on that 2S. You can just run at them a little bit and do something. Uh, the one, the situation I would say it's good in is, uh, 2S... If your 2S, if your 2S counter hits, you can go into 6H. And then if you have meter, you can convert off that. But if you don't, you could just throw out a Gunflame. The 6H will push you back a little bit and they'll be forced to sit there while the gun flame comes out. And that's a very good situation for Soul. Mm -hmm. And yeah, for Chari, like... Unfortunately, I don't really know what to tell you for neutral, just because Ram's neutral is so incredibly strange. But you seem to have a decent grasp of, like, space control and poking and stuff. Uh, it's just when you make them block something, and I know that this is harder with Ram than a lot of characters, that was almost so good. But uh, <laughs> if you make them block something, you definitely like need to have multiple strings that you go for. Like That is the point of, say, your 5 PPP string, just the quick mids, is you don't open them up, even if it hits, but it gives them other things to look out for to block, and then you can like cycle through options to make them block the overhead, for example. And you definitely, like, you were good about once you were comfortable, like, a little bit more with your pressure, going for the, uh, I think it's APK? I don't know, whatever does the overhead, maybe it's PKP. One of those. But the one that does the overhead or the, uh, slower low, like, you were good about going for those to mix up, but only once you were a bit more comfortable, when you looked like you were more on the back foot, or, like, in the last round when you were down a game, you started going for the safer, but like less real reward, I guess less real pressure option of just 2kk. And when it works, great. But a lot of the time it'll just get blocked like that one did right there. So sometimes even do like 2k 
and then just wait because that puts the 50-50 on do they push it. Like, it does the record pressure thing where do they hit a button after 2k or do they, you know, take the down back and then let you get a pressure reset. It's all about stuff like that. That at least gives them a reason to be hit by the 2kk. But yeah, just that, and uh, get a corner combo so that once you get people to the corner, they die in, like, half the time they currently do. <laughs> you have to win less neutral interactions, because they're dead. <laughs> yeah, that's the power of knowing confirms, is just, like, not have giving the opponent as many time, as much time and knowing as many chances. Yep, especially with Ram, because it's, like, it's not just extra damage, it's extra damage into tor two sword set safe jump mix-up. Yeah. Like, that's mean. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, alright, uh, I think that's all of my thoughts on this set in long-form rambly fashion. You got anything else? Uh, I think not super immediately, especially because I, I, I talk with Crady a lot, so okay. if he has more questions, I can talk to him. talk about to Char? Um, I am not very familiar <laughs> with Ram, <laughs> so fair. I don't feel like I have a lot to advise on. That's fair. Okay, well, see you in the next one.